demon programming uh in this series we're going to take a much more detailed look at things i think we're going to go a little slower and a little more step by step and and dig into more details of how the engine works uh how unreal uh it eliminates a lot of the hassle of game development by its slick methods of, of performing a very powerful operations so uh, but first, uh, in this video, I'm going to give an overview of uh, some of the features, new features in 4.26. So I'll be working with engine 4.26 in this video series. And some of these new features are going to allow us to do really nice like terrain uh, capabilities and, and other things in our landscape. So uh, let's get to it, and in doing that, we're also going to build up our initial landscape that we're going to use uh, probably through the rest of the series, although we may make other landscapes as well. It's always neat to have multiple levels, and maybe we'll get to that. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right to it. So here I am in the uh, uh, Epic Games launcher. I'm going to go ahead and launch the engine. Uh, this may take a few minutes, but I will either speed it up or... Uh, uh, just bypass it. We'll see how long it takes. So well, it didn't take that long to get that up. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, going to games next. Uh, we're going to do a third person, uh, which will turn into a third first person capable thing where you can switch between the modes. We'll do that. But we're going to start with the third person so we have a character to run around with. We'll also probably be looking at a Mixamo and other things to get some characters going. So we definitely want to be a blueprint for my machine maximum quality. If you need to lower that, that's fine. Uh, we'll leave ray tracing disabled. Uh, we'll get to that at some point in time. Maybe in the series we'll talk about ray tracing uh, and uh, we might set that up. Uh, we're going to be desktop and with starter content. And uh, I'm going to change my folder here. <clears throat> And I'm going to call the game Survive. So we'll make a little survival game. We're going to talk about uh, doing things like uh, crafting and building things, building buildings, building structures, crafting tools, all that kind of stuff, gathering resources and having a real inventory system. But we're going to do it step by step, very carefully. We're not going to rush through anything. So let's start by uh, thinking about our project layout here a little bit. We've got this, uh, uh, we're in the third person character here. Let's go up to content and I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm just gonna name survive. This is gonna have all of the content we create. We'll leave the upper level content alone. That, that's all default stuff that comes with the game. So under survive, the first thing I want to do is create a new folder and I'm going to call it landscape land landscape <laughs> if I can type. Okay. And so in here, we're going to put all of the stuff related that we create related to our landscape. Uh, and I just wanted to get that set up initially so that we have something to, uh, to work from, a, a known place to put things when we create them. So <clears throat> there's been a little UI change here. You used to go over to like your landscape tab up here. Now the game engine has modes. And these modes are the select mode, which is the regular mode we're in where you can select objects like this guy here or this thing here. Uh, I'm going to eventually clear that stuff out too. We're going to do something different with that. Uh, you have landscape, foliage, uh, brush editing, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. I haven't looked into it. And mesh paint modes. We'll be looking into these. Right now I have looked into landscape and foliage, so that's what I'm going to tell you a little bit about. So let's go into landscape mode. Oh, excuse me. Let's go back to select mode. <laughs> And let's create a new level file, a uh, new level. And I'm going to choose this one that's called time of day. 
And the reason is that that time of day, we'll, we'll save that level. This time of day has some really cool features like holding uh, control L and moving uh, the mouse lets you change the time of day there. It's nighttime uh, and we can get these really cool cloud looks and everything in it. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have the time of day and I'm going to set it uh, where the time of day is perhaps um, over here somewhere. So there's a little bit of long shadowing that's going to help us visualize our thing. But I'm going to get rid of all this junk that's in here because I don't need that or that and I don't need this platform because now we're going to go up here and go into landscape and <clears throat> creating landscape is pretty much just like it was before uh, there's a variety of things you can do we did an import from file before we're not going to do that this time we're just going to create a flat landscape there is a checkbox here this is very important for what we're going to do and that's called enable edit layers you want to have that on and for my purposes, I'm going to change this to 127 by 127 quads. I think that's a really nice size. And then we'll just hit create and we will create this initial landscape. Now, <clears throat> there are a couple plugins I'm going to work with. And so if you uh, go into uh, edit plugins and you come here and you search for uh, mountain, is it mountain? No, it's uh, landscape, landscape water. We want to enable that one. And if you don't have that plugin, uh, it is uh, downloadable. Uh, I'm not going to restart now. I'm going to also make sure that my, uh, uh, well, that's enabled. So let's close that for a second and go over here. Let me just check something and make sure I do, in fact, have everything blueprint. Yes, we have the. Uh... OK, I'm back and it's called landmass. <laughs> and I don't know why I couldn't remember that, but you have to be sure that that's enabled and we'll want to have water enabled. And if you don't have <clears throat> the water or landmass plug in, uh, <clears throat> you can uh, you, you can download them. And I might put a little uh, section uh, at the end on how to download those. Uh, but I don't want to break from this right now and do it. So uh, we'll close this. Those are both enabled. We'll go back here to landscape mode. Now here in uh, in sculpt, you will find that no landscape. Oh, I again, <laughs> I haven't opened my map. So let's open up our map. Save selected. Okay, here's our Here's our system. Let's go to uh, landscape mode. And uh, over here in sculpt, you will find a button called blueprint. And blueprint, uh, you can add these things to it. Now, these are the edit layers that I was talking about. So we have a layer right now that our, our landscape got placed in when we created it. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to call this new layer. Uh, mountains we could call it mountain one mountain two mountain three you can create multiple of them and you can place them where you want and with that mountain selected in this layer so it's yellow highlighted we're going to come in here and we're going to add this custom brush land mass now we we've got this cross we're going to come out here and click somewhere and we're right in the middle of the world so i'm going to click right here in the middle of the world and voila there's a mountain awesome looking isn't it well no not really uh but we're gonna make it look really awesome in fact we're gonna kind of put it make sure it's in the middle of our scene here make sure we are i'm gonna get right down here and i'm gonna go straight up i'm gonna turn the speed of this up a little bit so i can go really up I should have turned it up a little more than that. There we go. So there's our whole landscape. Now, this this thing has these uh, uh, gizmos on it. You can pull these apart. You can spread this out. And so we're going to spread it out and make it.
close to, not real close, but somewhere in here. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Before we do this, I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy. Uh, in fact, I'm going to delete this layer. Yes, delete the layer. And he's gone. And for some reason, this doesn't delete. Edit. There it is. They keep hiding it on me. Let's delete that. And let's delete, edit, delete. I oh, can't delete it. Great. Okay. Don't need it. <clears throat> There's something I forgot. Let's get back to our uh, uh, guy here, our player start. So we're more or less at the center of the world. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to, well, I'm going to go in here. It's player start. Okay. Darn it. I'm going really fast. I want to get straight up from this a ways. And we're going to go here to place actors and we're going to find water. And you'll see I've got this installed and I'll, I'll show some video on how to do this. But we want to take body ocean and drop it right here in the middle. And what it did was it turned our landscape into a little island with a whole bunch of water around it. If we go into play mode, oh, Let's go back to our player start and we got to go back to select mode because we can't select it from here and pull it up above the landscape. Now if we play, we're in our world and uh, the island's uh, still fairly big, but it's not as big as our whole landscape because it's this modifier. What it's done is it's created an ocean around us uh, and pushed the landscape down under the ocean. And we're going to see how to, to modify the landscape even further. But I want to do this first before I do the mountain. Uh, I'm not sure how that would react. But here's our, here's our ocean. It's looking pretty awesome so far. It'll look even better when we get textures under here. We can, we've got a, uh, uh, an ocean volume underneath it now automatically just by tossing that in. So we have our ocean. But what can we do with it? When we get out, out of this, go back to our center area let's move up we can shape our island because this guy here has um oh we got to go back to landscape i think and select it the layer and you know what i'm going to change this one to water and select that and here's our main gizmo and there should be visible isn't that interesting there they are they're a little hard to see at times but we can select landscape water manager I'm not sure why i can't see any of them there's one right there That's the main actor. There's the points, but for some reason, that's right. We have to go back to select mode. I think there they are. Okay, finally. <laughs> so yeah, it can be a little finicky at times. So here's our island. Now we can select these individual bits here and we can pull this out and we can shape our island. And of course you can add more we can right click and add a spline here. All this is is a bezier curve. We can right click and add a spline point here and move it. We can also grab these handles and uh, change them, pulling them in. We'll, we'll change their strength, pulling them out. We'll, we'll push it out further so we can pull this in a little bit and we can turn it so that it changes the direction the curve is going in. We can grab this one here. We can uh, we can reduce this one a little bit, I think. Come on, grab that handle. And grab this, pull it in, and turn it this way a little bit. Let's add a spline point here and pull this out. And I'm going to reduce this a little bit down here. Pull it in, tighten it in a little bit. 
<clears throat> so there's our little island. And now we can put <clears throat> a, uh, <clears throat> a mountain in the middle of it. Uh, we could make it a little bit bigger, perhaps. Uh, it's probably big enough for our purposes. So let's leave it. Let's leave it be. All right. Now we're going to go to the mountain. So let's go back to landscape. Uh, let's go to sculpt, <clears throat> turn on our blueprints and pull down this and get our custom brush landmass and we'll put it right here in the middle and there's so now we can do the same thing with this that we were able to do with the water we can move this around we move these around we move this whole thing around like this and over here and the important point about all this is these things also they're non-destructive um you can actually just delete this object and all the changes to the underlying mesh go away I'm going to add a few more points in here. I'm going to add a spline point here and pull this out. I'm going to add a spline point here and I'm going to pull this out maybe a little further. I'm going to add a spline. Oops. I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> Oh, there's no uh, spline point there. There's no line there. So we'll pull this out a little bit. We can pull this in, out, way out over here. We can add a spline point here. And that way we can pull this one around some. Like this. Okay. And I want it to have a little bit of the shape of my island. So I'm going to pull this one in this direction. I'm going to pull this one over in this direction. And maybe we'll pull this one in this direction. All right. So we have a mm, mountain. Uh, it's not very tall and it's not very good looking yet. We can pull this. Uh, nope, not that. We can click on this and pull it up and increase its height a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger really occupying the island the center of the island with some flatter areas out here now what can we do to make this look good so with this selected if we come over here we find a whole bunch of settings we can for instance cap the shape and we can make it flat on top which is exactly what I want but I want that uh, a bit higher no maybe I don't want cap the shape um, fall off width a little bit lower so there's all these different settings this is Z offset here will move things up and down a lot too so probably right about there uh, we won't worry about material and static mesh and all that we're going to come down here to effects this is where it gets really interesting Blurring allows you to blur the shape and set how much that blurring is. So this kind of softens things. Curl noise is going to radically change the shape of our mountain. So what we're going to do is just do this a little bit. And just slightly. It doesn't take much. And you have a curl strength too, which changes it in different ways and, and uh, changes its shape so I'm just going to give it a tiny bit of that and then the tiling is really important it really changes the shape like this the next thing down is displacement and height displacement well let's show you here it's going to make this thing start looking really rugged we start getting these numbers up now we're going to start turning this into a very rugged looking chunk of mountain uh, with some height displacement associated with it. So let's go grab our player start and move it into an appropriate place so we can play. Let's select, go to select mode, go to our player start, grab it in the vertical and shift and go up. I think we're under our mountain. Oh, I know we're under our mountain, so we're going to need to move over a, lot, a long way. 
and probably this way. Oops. Probably this way, a long way. And then we'll move it down. Grab it. Move it down. Let's get it here. Get close into it again and get it right down here to the ground. There we go. Now we can play. And there's our giant mountain in the middle of our landscape. So that looks okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. It's a nice big mountain. We can't climb it. There's, I don't think there's any possible way we're going to climb this mountain. Uh, we could, of course, make settings to change that. We might be able to climb a ways. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty steep and pretty rugged looking. <clears throat> it's going to look better when we texture it, of course. <clears throat> now, the next thing that we can do is all this flat stuff around here. That doesn't look that great. So we're going to go back over here to our landscape mode. And, uh, you know what, I put my mountain in the water layer. Uh, that was kind of dumb. I might fix that up later. I'll have to redo it, I think. I don't think there's any way to actually move it from one layer to another just yet. Uh, <clears throat> landscape custom brusque land mass. Uh, that's the blueprint. I don't want that. See if there is a way to move it. Edit. Uh, we might be able to. Com I'll, I'll play with that later. For now, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to call this uh, <clears throat> land modifiers. Oops. I had my caps lock on. land modifiers. With that selected now, <laughs> I'm going to go up here <clears throat> and I'm going to do this custom brush material only and add that in. <clears throat> and then with that selected, custom editor layers, why is it not? Oh, you got to click. That's right. Okay. Now we have this really interesting lumpy very lumpy layer so here with that selected again we have these settings the curl strength and so forth <coughs> uh, we could uh, we can increase that and it'll change the way these lumps behave I think it does and mess custom brush material only okay uh, displacement height. Uh, if this does anything, huh? Midpoint. Custom brush material only. I could have sworn there were some settings that you could change on this. Material. Custom scalar parameters. No, oh, that's standard stuff. All right. Well, let's grab our. Is this our start? Oh no, that's what we just put in. Where's our player start? We got to move him up again. Got to go back to select mode and put him here. Play. There we go. There's our rough and rugged landscape around our mountain up there and come down here and here's our beach and this landscape has changed our nice smooth beach into a much more interesting beach and the underwater area is much more interesting too this uh, modifier continues on down I'll figure out how to I'm still learning some of this stuff a little bit um, but uh, we have a landscape to play with now, and we have a landscape to apply some materials to, and let me double check the time. 
Yep, we're 26 minutes in, so what I'm going to do is end this for now, and in the next video, we're going to build a material, a landscape material, uh, to automatically do this, but also allow us to paint additional textures onto it. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.